asking about the EPA, and I'm asking about your rogue bureaucrats that have enacted these unconstitutional re regulations. Are you going to repeal them? Are you going to continue to implement them, or are you going to stop altogether since it's been overturned? Do you understand the ruling? ruling? <laughs> oh, you can see where this is going with Lauren Bober. And the issue is she could be right. He could be wrong. That's Michael Regan, the administrator of the EPA. She could have a good point. I mean, after all, the Supreme Court did just hurt the ability of our bureaucracy to regulate things, just not at all in the way she seems to think or wants to think that it has. And he asks there, do you understand the ruling? Allow her to demonstrate that no, she very much does not. Do you understand the I, I ruling do. of the Supreme Court? I do. And so your question is is ill formed. No. Will you we're be not repealing? Gonna, we're not gonna stop. You're, so you're we're going to unconstitutionally continue with these rulemakings. We're going to, rule adhere. We're gonna the, adhere to the, the Supreme Court. And continue to so do which, our So which which rulemakings to do our, are you going to roll back? We're going to adhere to the Supreme Court and continue to do our work in accordance to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court. So which made a ones ruling. are you going to repeal? The Supreme what? Court didn't tell us to repeal anything. They, they have been deemed unconstitutional. No. Absolutely, they have. <laughs> this was a huge victory. Mm, bober, bober, bober. That's. I know that that's what you want to believe the Supreme Court did, but that's just not what they did. The video will continue in just a moment, but first I have a message for you. TYT needs your help. Membership is vital to survival. So please go to tyt.com slash team and become a member today. And by the way, in the long term, I guess the joke will be on us because they did allow a lot of these regulations to be challenged and how regulations are formed in the future will be different. But they in no way said that every regulation that's ever happened needs to be repealed. You'll be shocked to find out that's not what they did. And so her question is, as Michael Regan said, ill-formed. You could also call it bad built perhaps. But anyway, she doesn't understand this. Thankfully, Representative Dan Goldman is on hand to clarify things for her. Mr. Regan, I don't want to spend too much time on this, um, but I would just like to clarify a few things for my colleague from Colorado. The Loper Bright ruling, uh, as you know, said that the courts should not defer to agency rulemaking if a statute is ambiguous, mm -hmm. and instead the courts get to determine whether or not what the statute means. Is that your understanding as well? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so that would not require any regulations to be reversed or overturned, correct? Correct. Yeah, correct. And, and this, this is not complicated. I mean, lots of stuff in government is complicated. Lots of stuff, particularly when you're talking about the Supreme Court and their decisions is complicated. And long term, this might be complicated. Right now, it's not complicated. Honestly, it's on a level that I would have expected even Lauren Boebert could have understood it. But the issue there, the reason that she has fumbled this is the reason that she always fumbles it. She gets too excited. She just thinks, "Oh, I'm going to have it. I'm going to have this moment and I'm going to sit there and I'm going to do my hair because I know the cameras are on me and I'm going to spread this on Twitter and I'm going to I'm going to look like AOC. I'm going to look like Jasmine Crockett. I'm going to look like Katie Porter. I'm going to look so clever cuz I'm in the right but don't know because you don't understand anything and you don't care to understand anything. You could have done the research. You could have like read an Axios article about what the Chevron deference doctrine being reversed actually does. It takes like 45 seconds. I think that that's within the realm of the possibility even for Lauren Boebert. But no, she's just too eager to get the moment. And honestly, I wouldn't even discount the possibility that she will just clip out her saying things should be overturned and spread it anyway, because she knows that her constituents aren't gonna actually look that up. But for now, it's just another, it reminds me of the time she started asking questions nonstop about public urination and she just didn't understand what she was talking about. She's just not AOC and she's not Jasmine Crockett and she's not Katie Porter and she's unlikely to ever be. That said, I will say, as I alluded to earlier, long term, they will get a lot of what they want. It's why it's so crazy that they've overturned the Chevron deference doctrine. Uh, they don't have to automatically get rid of any of these regulations, but they could be challenged. And then courts, including courts staffed with people who don't have any medical knowledge or energy knowledge or environmental knowledge or anything, could make decisions based exclusively off of ideology. So long term, she could get some of what she wants. But the idea that like magically you wake up and all federal regulations are gone, is absolutely absurd. It's buffoonish, even for Lauren Boebert.
Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.